In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the volume of solids using the ring method and shell method. The question reads, the first quadrant area is bounded by the curve y squared is equal to 4x, and the x-axis and the line x is equal to 4 is rotated about the y-axis. Find the volume generated by the ring method, some textbooks call it the washer method, and b, the shell method. The ring method is shown right here, and what I have for you is an illustration of the function y is equal to plus minus the square root of 2 times x. What I've done is I've isolated for y and I end up with this. And if you graph this function, you'll end up with the following two curves. Now they're asking for something very specific. They want it between 0 and 4. They want it within this first quadrant and it's being rotated about the y-axis. What we have to do is follow this formula where volume is equal to pi times the square root of the bounds a and b for the integrand r to the power of 2, so your outer radius minus your inner radius, and that's also to the power of 2 dh. Looking at this illustration a little bit further, what we have to do is find the radius of this and subtract it from the radius of this. So this is the inner radius, and this is the outer radius. Well, let's start off by questioning what dh is. Notice that dh in this ring is the thickness of this ring. And notice that it's in terms of dy, and that's because this volume was created by rotating about the y-axis. So these r's need to be in terms of y. That being said, the equation here right now is in terms of x. So what we have to do is solve for x in each one and that way it's in terms of y. So to solve for x here, we have 4x is equal to y to the power of 2. Divide both sides by 4, we end up with x is equal to y to the power of 2 over 4. This function right here represents this radius, the inside radius. Here's how that looks v is equal to pi times the bounds between 0 and 4 because we discovered that this is 0 and this is 4 and since it's in terms of y it's got to be between 0 and 4. Our outer radius which is 4 to the power of 2 that's coming from the formula itself minus our inner radius this part which is y to the power of 2 over 4 squared dy. Let's go ahead and simplify this where we can. 4 to the power of 2 is 16. And y to the power of 2 over 4 to the power of 2 is y to the power of 4 over 16. The integration part isn't hard. The antiderivative of 16 is 16y. And the antiderivative of y to the power of 4 over 16 is y to the power of 5 over 16 times 5, which is 80. Now I have to evaluate this when y is equal to 4 and when y is equal to 0. When y is equal to 0, these both go to 0, so don't worry about that. Let's just worry about this 4. Substituting that 4 into there, we end up with 64. Substituting 4 into there, 4 to the power of 5, I'll figure that out soon, over 80. If you plug these numbers now into your calculator, you should end up with a volume of 200 and 56 over 5 pi. Now, my calculator is capable of giving me outputs that are in fractions. Your calculator might give you an output that's in a decimal, but it should equal to this quotient. Now I have to repeat this process using the shell method. And the formula for the shell method is shown here. So let's start off by writing that out. V is equal to 2 times pi between the bounds A and B. The bounds will be between 0 and 4. Now the radius, this part, will be x because the radius of the cylinder is relative to the horizontal. You see how it's parallel to the horizontal? So your radius will be x, and that's also shown in this illustration. And the height, let's say that this is the height, y, is y. And we will be integrating this in terms of dx. Next, I'll need to change this y with the function itself. The function was y squared was equal to 4x. 
square rooting both sides, I get y is equal to 2 times the square root of x plus minus. I'm only going to focus on the positive version because it's in the first quadrant. So I get v is equal to 2 times pi times 2. I'm going to pull out this 2 right away. The integral between 0 and 4, x times the square root of x dx. Using the laws of exponents here, x to the power of 1 times x to the power of half gives us x to the power of 1.5. The integral for x to the power of 1.5, 4 pi. Now I'll take the integral of x to the power of 1.5. By adding 1 here, that gives us 2.5 divided by 2.5. We can forget about this now. We have x to the power of 2.5 over 2.5 evaluated at 4 and 0. We can forget about 0 as well because substituting 0 into here will give us 0. And now I can use my calculator to see if I get the same result as before. So 4 times pi times 4 to the power of 2.5 divided by 2.5 gives me 256 over 5 times pi, which was identical to the ring method. And so there you have it. That is how to find the volume of solids using the ring method and shell method.